if you're new here and welcome to this weekend's vlog and if you're not new here welcome back y'all so i'm getting ready to go to an appointment and i just wanted to show y'all my outfit really quick so starting off at the top i got this headband on um so this might be from either walmart or ulta they have the same brand but it's cute it has a little detail then i just put my glasses on um just to see what i'm recording but i typically take these off um, I don't know why I had to tell y'all that, but I did. Then I had this coat from Zara on. It's a puffer coat. I got this three plus years ago, so maybe four years ago. The neck is getting kind of flat, so it doesn't stand up as much. It's one of those puffer coats that were popular. I think, I feel like they're still popular. But yeah, I got that on. Then I got my typical running Aaron linen top from Zara. My favorite leggings from Amazon. I love these so much. I linked them in my Amazon storefront. You can find that in the description box below. And then these boots are lovely. They're from ASOS. I think this, this is my third winter wearing them. They're no longer available, but I've linked similar boots from Urban Revival in several of my videos. So you can check that out. Um, and in my bag, Amazon, love this thing, great for errands. So this is my typical like running errands outfit. So did I tell y'all that I was going to an appointment? So yeah, bye, doctor's appointment. <laughs> hey y'all, so I finished up with my appointment and now I am in front of the U-Haul store. And, um, so let me tell y'all, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, this week, Michaels had a buy, buy one canvas get two free. And I'm like, I'm not going to pass up on this deal. And I'm going to buy the biggest, largest, most dramatic canvas <laughs> to get more for my buck. Because, you know, they always charge for the, lar the largest one and you get the other two one free. So I got all three big ones. So I got, I believe, a 48 by 48. Girl, let me see if I even got this receipt. Oh, yeah, I got the receipt in here. Thank goodness. So I got a 48 by 48. And I think I got like, um, I don't even know, like 34 by 40, 20 by 4. I don't know. I just got some big ones. And they only two of them can fit in my car. The last one, the 48 by 48. I could not fit in my car and the reason is because like it was either like the, I couldn't go in my trunk because the way that the trunk is shaped on the inside and then it couldn't fit in my car door because of the way the car is shaped so like, it couldn't get in but I believe once it was it will be in the car it could fit but obviously it can't get through the opening so obviously can't fit in my car so I had to leave the biggest one there, which was the 48 by 48. And um, they couldn't ship it to me. So basically I have to go pick it up. And I decided that I'll rent a U-Haul truck and go pick it up. But I'm gonna get the smallest U-Haul truck. And to be honest, I am a little bit wary because I never drove a truck before. And, um, I'm honestly, I'm only a hundred percent comfortable with driving my car, like my car. I've always been like that. Even when I went from my old car to this car, I was like, ah. it, and then even when I, so when I was in undergrad, my dad, you know, gave me my first car. And then even when I transitioned from that car to my older car that I just had, that, um, that was ahead of a transition. So I'm always only comfortable driving my car. And let alone this car is a truck and not a Sudan, like a Sudan. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully everything goes well. <sighs> and the crazy thing is my painting that I have in my home now is 48 by 48. It's really big. I went through the same thing, but the only thing is I had a friend who knew how to drive uh, a U-Haul truck. So I, no worries, but my, that friend no longer lives here. 
and I don't know like a lot of like I just I guess I don't know I just I just want to get this done right now and I'm just I'm just going to do it I'm just going to do it <laughs> y'all I am literally about to drive a pickup truck to get a canvas to paint like this is like chiffon what are you doing like is this is this really my life <laughs> oh my god i never um yeah i just had to tell y'all this um i had to say this out loud to somebody and like i don't want to talk to myself so i'm talking to y'all but y'all i'm literally in a pickup truck like i've never done this before so i'm going to drive on the back streets and not the highway and I'm going to drive the speed limit. I may drive maybe one mile under the speed limit because this is this is insane to me. Okay, y'all. So this is the canvas from Michaels. I finally got it. I'm about to take it home. So this is the truck that I literally was driving in this pickup truck. I intentionally tried to drive um, while parked in two spaces, but apparently I did a good job parking. I literally parked inside the lines. Uh, and all these people parked by me. Like, there was all this open space, but now I have to be careful backing out. Wish me luck. Y'all, I don't know if I did the right thing or not. I mean, it's better than nothing. So, uh, I seen this sign on the truck that said, make sure you tie stuff down. So, that's what I did. I went back in the store, got some nylon, I guess, rope. And I wasn't sure how to do it. So I literally tied it on this loop here, ran it through the back of the canvas, and then I tied this in here. And there's all this extra nylon because I don't have any scissors to cut it off. So I don't think it's going to move anyways, With even if I didn't have a rope, but you know, just in case. Gotta secure my investment. So <clears throat> canvas is safe at home. I went to Starbucks to get some coffee, but y'all, I'm like literally tired, and I think because it's only like two o'clock, and I think I'm tired. Like, mm. oh, that's hot, y'all. I'm tired, like, because my body was under so much stress. Like this, the rat went well, actually. Um. I made sure to drive on the um, like the back roads, so doing that went really, really well. And then I, oh, what really helped me out that there was some work work ahead, so that had me drive even slower. So me driving slow just really helped me. And um, so it was a smooth drive. I did feel every kind of bump and I don't know if because it was a truck or it's because like that specific truck so I felt every bump but it was cool campus is safe I'm about to go in the grocery store but I, f I don't feel like it and usually when I go to the grocery store it's very relaxing to me like I listen to a podcast or some type of YouTube video or something while I'm in there but right now I don't even think I have to like i just i'm too exhausted hey y'all i'm back home now so i didn't go grocery shopping i literally came straight home um uh, actually no i went to get some food and now i'm home i'm just too tired and i'm not the age i don't even have to i don't even think this has to do with age i'm at a place in my mindset where i'm like if it doesn't feel good and i don't have to do it i ain't gonna do it <laughs> So, um, and I really, like I said earlier, I really enjoy grocery shopping. So if I'm feeling tired and I don't want to go grocery shopping, I'm not going to go. So I'll just go tomorrow. I got some food. I literally just got Cheesecake Factory um, because I didn't know what else to get. They offered rope, like um, curbside, because I didn't even feel like getting out of my car. That's how tired I was yawning. And I was yawning, like, what the heck? So that's why I got it. I like their cauliflower bites, so I got these. Here they are. And then I also got their chicken pot stickers. Here they are. Like I don't like I don't love love the food. Um like right now 
it's like okay like it's it's good but it's not like you know how usually when you eat out it's like i want something because i'm craving it so much like i wasn't craving this that much i was craving it because it was curved side um something that was different from panera bread and chipotle because that's where i'd be going that'd be fast and i didn't know what else at the time and this is the only thing that popped up in my mind because i was so tired Oh, and I got my Starbucks coffee. I'm gonna just lay down and watch a movie. Hey y'all, I ain't see y'all in a while. <laughs> mm. It's Sunday morning, well afternoon now. Um, so yesterday I wasn't feeling well. Like I was really, really sleepy since Friday. So I just got some rest and relax. So there was nothing to like feel instead of me laying down so yeah sunday i'm getting some energy back i've decided to do a mini little workout so i don't know if i told y'all but i haven't gone to pilates in a minute or the gym in a minute um because it was like scheduling stuff with the class because the classes were becoming more popular and they only had four machines and then like I couldn't get it around my work schedule. And then I um, like put my membership on hold because this month was crazy with like the holidays and traveling and stuff like that. So I didn't want to waste my money um, because I couldn't sign up for any of the classes. So yeah. So it's still kind of an excuse because I could have went to the gym, but um I just don't feel like it, honestly. So I've always been a person who liked at home workouts. So um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I do at home workouts. Like I love to do it. Like I did Insanity two times. Um, I follow this one girl on YouTube. Her name is Heather. I think it's Heather Robertson, and she does home workouts. I do those and then there was like this um pdf thing i was following so i love home workouts because i can get up put some out in the one and like be ready to go instead of the whole getting in my car driving somewhere walking to the gym and driving is a big deal to me like i don't want to uh like i just don't like driving i don't like traveling like that whole process i don't it's not my favorite so anywho I wanted to show y'all this thing I got on Amazon. I showed it to people on Instagram this week. Let me just angle the camera now. So I got this portable step stair stepper off of, uh, what's it called? Amazon. And y'all, like, I bought it. So I bought it. Let me get down here. So I, <laughs> I bought it. Hey, let me just show y'all in and out. So here it is on the side. And it comes with, it comes with these two um, bungee cord things. Where can I show y'all at? Okay, here it is. So it comes with these two um, like resistant things that you can pull so you can get a full body workout. And then these steps, they literally go up and down like as a stair stepper and all i had to do was twist this knob on the bottom so there is a knob that um will go like tighten it so it can be and in, in increase resistance and then as you can lessen it so the resistance can be decreased so yeah it was like 60 dollars. it also has a pedometer I think that's what it's called when it counts your steps. It counts your calorie and time. And even when you stop and get off of it, that saves. And then when you step back on, it'll continue. And if you want to reset it, you just hit this button and it says reset. So let me see if I can. It's actually, pretty, I mean, it's not heavy, heavy, but like, I'm going to keep picking it up. But here's the pedometer here. There it is. Okay, y'all, so I want to try to see a better angle. Um, let me turn these lights off. Maybe I don't, I mean lights on. Can y'all see any better? 
So yeah, this is the this is the portable stair stepper because I love the stair master at the gym, and I literally got so I had the Pilates classes. I actually add on the gym um, membership just so I can get on the stair master. But I'm like, okay, so I'm only going for the stair master. Let me see if I can get at home. This is the portable one, so I'm going to start it over. And I just hop on, and y'all, this is for a for real full body workout when you use these um, boards. So you just go up and down. The resistance is kind of a little high right now because I wanted a good workout. And then you can do whatever with your arms. So I'll go like this, and this engages my core. <laughs> Not me sounding like a workout um instructor but this is enga engages my core and my arms my legs so it's literally full workout and my arms are feeling it y'all y'all i'm five minutes in and i had to take a break because this is a serious workout for real like full body. <sighs> but I like doing this with the arms and going slow. <sighs> but when I need a break, <sighs> I don't do nothing with the arms. But this is, this is, this is intense, y'all. <laughs> oh, so what am I? It says, um, seven minutes and 47 minutes and 47 seconds, 339 count. I burned 47 calories. Yeah. Whew, that's crazy. Like, I would have been on you know, the treadmill. And I usually don't sweat when working out, but this definitely has me sweating. That's why I had to take my jacket off. It had me sweating within the first minute. But compared to all the cardio type of machines, this has given me the most sweat. Even compared to the regular Stairmaster at the gym. And I think it's because it has these uh, resistant bands that I'm, resistant bands that I'm utilizing at the same time. So it's giving me a full body workout, causing me to sweat. This is crazy. <sighs> All right, quick little second break. I think I'm gonna go to 10 or 15 minutes, but I guess I can show you my offer real quick. I have this top on from Amazon. I love this bra. I got a little deodorant on it when I took it, taking it, putting it on, so don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I love this bra. Pants are from uh, Gymshark. I actually put a dupe in my fitness list on Amazon if you want like a, a dupe that's, a, that's less expensive. And then these shoes, New Balance, comfy, cute. But yeah, here's the back of the bra. And I like it because it goes all the way down to the stomach, so it doesn't really feel like a bra. It just feels more of like a, like a crop top. <sighs> but yeah, let me get back to it, y'all.
finally finished. I'm really liking it. I decided to take those, like that ribbon I had on last week because I don't know, it just, it just wasn't doing it for me. Oh, sorry for dragging my feet, y'all. But this is the tree. I think it's looking good. I really love these white bulbs that I got or ornaments that I got from Amazon. They're so shiny. They definitely left glitter on my hand, but I'll survive. But yeah, I think it's so cute. My first tree, it's completed. I got the skirt from Amazon as well. I thought it would be a little bit wider, but this is fine. Can't wait to put my presents underneath it. It's snowing today, y'all. So I was supposed to go to the grocery store, but um, it was snowing. So I'm like, I'm not driving outside. <laughs> so I stayed home for my typical cleaning stuff that I do on Sunday. I'm washing some dishes now. They're in the dishwasher. Hopefully, they're, it's not too loud. I really don't use my dishwasher like that. So, because, you know, I'm whenever I make dishes, it's just be like one, literally one fork and one plate. So, I just wash it. But anyways, I'm trying out this disposal cleaner. I've seen this on a website because I was looking for ways to clean my garbage disposal and I did a natural light way, like I put some lemon in there and some bacon soda, but I wanted to do this. It's not, okay. Ensure disposal is empty, run a full power stream of hot water for one minute. So let's wait a minute. Okay, so now it says reduce and sorry if I'm, if I'm yelling, I just want to make sure y'all hear me over this this um, dishwasher in this water. So it says reduce water to a slow trickle less than the width of a pencil, okay, and turn faucet away from the drain, okay. With the water running, place one tablet fully inside a disposal. For the first cleaning or heavy residue, use two tablets. Run a disposal for about one minute. All right, I'm gonna do two tablets. So this is what it looked like on the inside. Just a whole bunch of the, a whole bunch of the tablets. And they're individually wrapped. See? All right, so with the water running for one round, if the foam produced from the tablets come into the sink, continue running. Disposal on water until the foam drains. Rinse remaining foam from the sink. Uh, so let me turn y'all down here so y'all can see what's going to happen. All right. So I'm going to do two tablets because they said it's the first time. So one and two. So let's see what happens. So with the water running, place one tablet. Okay. Run a disposal. Oh, run a disposal. Oh, oh, that's what I forgot to do. Oh, now I see the fun. Y'all about to see it. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. Did y'all see? Some of the fun came on this side too. Y'all see it? Right there. All right, so the fun produced from the tablet comes into the sink, continuing disposal of water until fun drains up.
right, now rinse the remaining sun from the sink. Wow, y'all. Wasn't that exciting? <laughs> but it feel, it smells fresh. Yeah, smells fresh. <laughs> I made it, y'all. I made it. <laughs> so I got all my stuff together. This was a very relaxing um, grocery trip. <laughs> but this week I decided to switch it up a little bit. I'm actually gonna make like a low core version of like oatmeal. So I got this idea from, on YouTube like years ago. And I used to eat it all the time during residency because it was so easy to make and then just put it in the refrigerator and take it out for lunch every day when I went to clinic um, or the hospital. But yeah, so I got this organic hemp hearts and then I'm gonna mix in some chia seeds or chia seeds. I uh, never got the Wegmans brand before but we'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. I usually get whatever brand that's at, like um, GNC or Vitamin Shop or something. But I'm here, so this is what I'm going to get. It's a huge bag. I'll probably never need to buy any more again. And then what I do, I use almond milk, like the unsweetened kind, which I got here. Here, Then I'll put some almonds in it. And then I'll also put almond butter because it's good. And then I also put blueberries in it because blueberries is good. Um, yeah, it's one of the fruits that has the lowest amount of sugar. So berries have the lowest amount of sugar compared some, to some other fruit, but specifically blueberries have a lower amount of, of sugar in it. And then I am also going to do one more thing in there. Oh, so I got these little chocolates from uh, Lily's. So Lily's, they sweeten their chocolate with stevia, so it has a lower amount of sugar in it too. But yeah, so this is, that's all I'm gonna put in my oatmeal, you know, my low sugar oatmeal. And it's really good, I like it. So yeah, I also brought these stockings because I'm gonna do that stocking hack. I tried it with some tights that I had. It didn't work out well, and I think it's because I had tights. So using these stockings will probably it'll probably come out better. So yeah, let's see. And then also I got these. I usually get Impossible Burgers, but I had these before, so these should be pretty good. These are the Beyond Burgers. Um, got these, just a little snack if I'm craving some sugar. And then, of course, my Halo Top, vanilla. Um, and then a bunch of vegetables, of course, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, string greens, just to switch it up. And to today, well, and today I got this kombucha. I'm back home and it's Sunday night. So I'm getting ready to do that stocking hack. So the first few times I did, I used my, like they were tight and not stockings. They were really pretty thick. So now I got like stocking stockings. So I straightened my hair. That's what it looked like. So it's looking good and I'm hoping in the morning this is what it's going to look like. So I don't know if this is a, so some, I, I found this on TikTok and people were, some most people were saying like, oh, you know, I've never heard of this before. Thank you for sharing, you know, whoever was the founder, well, whoever like made it popular. And then there were some people saying, this is an old trick. And I'm like... Why, why have, I don't know anybody who has ever done this before. And then why am I telling this if it is old? Let us know. This kom kombucha has me feeling pretty good. 
like stomach wise. I got that pink lady apple. So good. All right, so you split your hair, make sure it's looking good down on the sides. All right, then you get your stocking. I'm going to put it up on your hand so I cut the foot out. So you put this on your head. Now it's going to look crazy. Okay. It's on my head. And I want to make sure because I want my hair to be flat on the top. Okay, so now that my hand is through the foot, I grab my hair. and pull it through. All right, cool. This already feels different on my hair, my head compared to my thick tights that I was doing it with. Um, oh, let me do this. So let me put my hand through this way. And then grab my hair. All the way down. Okay. This one feels, just want to make sure all the hair is straight and it's not like crinkled up in there because I think that makes a difference. Like you gotta make sure your hair is like straight in there. Okay, so now you looking crazy. And then you wrap it around. And then I'm gonna tie it. And it just feel like you got a stocking on your head. So this isn't really that cute. Um, you know, when I'm sleeping with my sleepy tie, I'm looking cute. But that's when I want to wear my hair like kind of curly like a blowout. But I want it to be straight. So I'm going to put this slap on. So this is the tan one. I mean, this, <laughs> Woo. It's, it's not as like tight around it. It's just like it used to be, but it's cool. Mm -hmm. Do a little dance. All right, so I'm gonna go to bed now. Tomorrow I'm the consult pharmacist, so. When I'm a consult pharmacist, any and everything can happen. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. So it should be exciting. So when I wake up in the morning, y'all, I'm going to take this out with y'all and see if I did a good job this time. Because if you're working on TikTok, it worked for them. And I'm hoping it works for me. <laughs> Anywho, night, y'all. Good morning. So I'm dressed and ready for work. I just have to untie my, it's Monday morning, y'all. I just have to untie my stocking. Ooh, this is the moment of truth. Mad 
like I gotta be doing something wrong. Like I gotta be because the people I've seen do it on TikTok, they look so good. Where this is like, it's still, it's straight, but it's like, and, and don't pay attention to my, my edges, I guess. Cause that, the stocking ain't gonna do nothing for that. But the, the hair, like, it's fine, I guess it's fine. But it's like, I could have achieved this without even wearing um the stocking oh here y'all can see the ends so i could have achieved this without actually wearing the stocking so i feel like i'm doing something wrong and i don't know it's probably how i'm putting the hair inside because it's like always this part here but down here is kind of messed up too i think i hit my nail where did I get these cut down? But yeah. I mean, I could rock out with this, but it's not like bone straight. It's just, you know, fine. Anywho, all right, y'all. So I'm gonna hurry up and get ready for work. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.